I want the seat of both bar stools to be a bunch of vertically oriented pieces of wood. And what I mean by that is I want the grain to be vertical so most of the expansion and contraction will be in the thickness of the piece. If the grain is horizontal, then most of the expansion and contraction will be uh, horizontally, which will in turn push out or pull in the legs. And I don't really want that. So I've already oriented all of my boards so that the grain is vertical on these pieces. Just as you would with any other nice quality lumber, you don't really want to use the knots because they are less stable over time. So I'm trying to mark out for the best areas that will have the least amount of defects. Taking the time to lay out all my boards so that the good side is up. Now, some of these pieces, uh, I wasn't as fortunate enough to have an absolutely perfect piece of 2x4 to get the uh, material from. So some of these have a big knot, but I'm going to use that on the bottom side, so it's really not going to matter too much. I've got a couple of coals to protect my outside pieces from the clamps, and I just need to glue everything up. Cut all my frame pieces to the approximate length on the miter saw and rip them to an approximate one and a half inch by one and a half inch thickness. And before I cut these to the final length, I want to run them through the planer and make sure that both thicknesses in both directions are the exact same. I'm not really going for a certain number here. I just really want to make sure that both of these dimensions are the same. It's probably going to be about one and three eighths when it's all said and done. Want to take the time to mark out the location of all of the half laps before I begin to cut any of them. That way I don't mistakenly cut the wrong side of my pieces. I've already made sure that I have at least one good side showing on, on pretty much all the pieces, so I want to make sure I don't screw that up as far as not being able to see it when it's all done. Because I'm using a data blade to remove a lot of material, I don't want all that material to be flown back at me. So I've screwed a sacrificial piece of 2x4 to the back side of my miter gauge, centered with the blade. And what that will do is as I push this through, it's not a through cut on this 2x4. So this acts as a dust shroud to keep the dust inside the cabinet of the table saw and not flying back at me. Cutting the half laps on the ends of my material is pretty easy to do because all you have to do is set the fence so that the outside of your blade lines up with the thickness of your material. And that will create perfect half laps on the ends of your material. But what about cutting the half laps on the interior sections of your workpiece? I've got two to cut on two different faces and it's not as, it's not as simple as simply just moving the fence the width of the half lap. You have to take into consideration the width of your dado stack. And to make this error proof, what I've done is made pretty much a kerf maker style stop block. And what this is, is just a scrap piece of wood. That's the exact material that I'm working with. And without moving the fence, I've ran it through 
to remove only the width of the dado stack. And what that results in is the exact distance that I need to travel to make a perfect half lap anywhere in my workpiece according to this particular dado stack setup. top of all of my leg assemblies I've got a little bit of glue squeeze out and I cut all of my joints a little bit long it's a, it's in my opinion better to have the joints a little long and then trim them up than it is to have them too short so in order to get this top surface completely flat and smooth I've clamped two of the leg assemblies together and clamped them to my level on their foot side so that I can run these through the table saw with the level referenced up against the fence and it'll leave me a nice, perfectly jointed edge along the top side of both of these legs. some cheap 2x4s. Now I was a little bit selective with the pieces that I took from the 2x4s. So for these two bar stools I used six eight foot 2x4s. So basically three 2x4s per bar stool. Not too thrilled with the stained color that I chose. This is way too dark for my liking. I normally use Minwax Early American Stain but something told me to try something different and I went way too dark with this. But it's not a deal breaker. I'll still use them and they'll still get a lot of use in my home. This is a relatively easy project to make and it's a project that I would consider a skill building project. Making half lap joints isn't that difficult. You don't need a dado blade to do it and you actually don't even need a table saw to do it. You can make all of these dado cuts uh, for the half laps with a simple circular saw if you really wanted to. And of course the top is nothing more than making a simple cutting board. For those who are interested, I have a set of plans for this available for free on my website that you can download in PDF format so you don't need some special program in order to view them. And while you're there, if you'd like to see more woodworking content throughout the week, subscribe to my email newsletter. That way, anytime I post something, you'll be notified of it. And I try to post a couple things per week. If you're into the social media thing, check out my Facebook page. I post a lot of current and future project stuff, and I'll probably post a little bit more pictures of this on my Facebook page in my house once the sun comes up. I've got horrible lighting in there, so I'm gonna wait until daylight to take some pictures of this. If you wanna see more projects like this, go ahead and subscribe. I post a new woodworking video pretty much once a week. And if you're into the vlogging videos, then check out my second YouTube channel. I've started to do a lot more uh, vlogging and just weekly update kind of videos that I don't wanna crowd this channel with. Well, thanks for watching, folks, and have a great day.